Hello everyone and welcome to Party Aditya Prakash and a full-time data analyst and founder of Shivai. And today we'll be talking about how to become a data analyst in 2024 and 2025. So let's dive into the skills that you will need, the tools that you will need and the strategies that you'll need to build a career that's still not started. Or if it is started, you make it better. So first step is of course to master the cold technical skills that are there. So first is SQL and Excel. Of course, so these remain fundamental skills and will remain a fundamental skill in data analytics. So you'll have to focus on advanced Excel functions such as pivot tables. There isn't no going back from it. Three lookups you'll have to check and then dynamic charts you'll also have to check. And for SQL, you will not have to stick to the basic things such as join, those kind of things. You'll have to look out for complex joins, then indexing and optimization techniques and a bit of security is a plus point I'll say. Please have that. And then you'll have to know that SQL is still a required field in approximately 70% of the job description that are there for data analysts according to 365 data science and I also completely agree to it. And if you are applying, you will also agree. So, and then new emerging term is Python and R programming. So both are essential. But I'll say to focus on Python because of uh, its extensive libraries and ML capabilities. And it gives you pandas, numpy and matplotlib. Of course, pandas for data manipulation, numpy for array computation and matplotlib for charts. And in 2024, 2025 also Python integration with tools such as chat GPT for EDA, that is exploratory data analytics, will give you even more edge over others and is very crucial nowadays and python is around 30 percent of the job listing that are, that are there so it's a must have aspiring data analysts role requirement again according to 365 data science so you be very rigid in it and be very understanding in and second step is to embrace the advanced tools and automation that are there so data visualization tools that are there, Tableau and Power BI still have the edge. So mastering these visualization tools is will remain a key. So why it is there? Tableau and Power BI will help you transform raw data that you have into dashboard that stakeholders can use as well as managers can also use. So companies will value analysts who can build, you know, real time as well as intrusive data dashboards that will turn the insights that we have into actual actions. So we practice this by building dashboard with complex data sets. Again, I will not recommend it, but you will have to go that route. Then COVID vaccination tracker or sales performance, I'll recommend doing dashboards. But again, I'll focus on a real world data set and some data set that actually makes a difference. So I'll suggest do that way. And then automation and scripting, very important thing. So knowing how to automate uh, repetitive tasks that you are having through Python or R is a huge advantage and it will also give you automating the data cleaning transformation and even report generation will be a lot easy because you can't just be a data entry person, right? So you'll have to automate those things. So learn how to use Python in that way and some libraries are there. Open PyXL is there that will help you automate this task in SQL or you can just use APIs call from data and also automate that process using Python. So again, you can see how important Python is. And step three is to get familiar with machine learning basics. While data analysts don't need to be uh, machine learning experts, it's a solid understanding of it because predictive analytics is there. So it will help you that it is becoming more important. So it's a very good edge if you'll have it. So learn how to apply these simple models such as linear regression and decision tree to make your data driven forecast more. And tools such as scikit-learn will make it applying them really, really easy without going too much deep into data science. So again, scikit-learn is a Python library. So again, Python comes. And then how can I forget chat, GPT and AI? So in 2024, and of course in 2025, it will be more. AI tools like chat GPT are not going anywhere. They'll help you suggest and they're not taking your job by the way. So don't say that. So you'll have an edge of automating these EDA tasks. So you can ask tools such as chat GPT to help you with data profiling, outlier detection, 
or even suggest you data visualization methods so you can use it right away. And then, of course, you'll have to build a diverse portfolio. There's no going back. And if I haven't said it enough, it is very important that you prioritize projects more over certification. I know in India, certification matters, but projects matter more. So instead of just adding certificates to your resume, trust me, no one cares. They do, but not that much. So showcase real world projects like employees want to see you solve problems with data, not just do a Udemy course with all the, you know, steps written for you just doing the project. So that will show that you are already know the theory and you are actually applying practical things, not just knowing theory. So focus on project that allows you to showcase your data cleaning, visualization and predictive modeling capabilities. And you have to use platforms such as Kaggle, data driven data or GitHub to showcase your work, whichever works best for you. Or you can even build a portfolio website. I'll highly recommend that. And use unique data sets that, as I've said, you don't just stick to typical Titanic or Iris data set. Trust me, no one wants to see that everyone has made a project on Iris data set one point in their life. So everyone knows. So don't add that into your portfolio or your resume. Trust me. If I would have been the hiding manager, if I would have seen Irish data set in your resume, I'll reject right away. So just saying that. But I'm not a hiring manager, but still. So yeah, that thing is there. So use data sets such as from, you know, data.gov, UGI machine learning repository, or even industry specific data sets such as healthcare or financial data ones. And gain relevant uh, certifications because in India, you'll need certification and outside also, but in India, you'll need it. So if you're applying in India, which I am thinking, if you're watching this video, most of them are for Indians. So you'll have to get uh, uh, certificates here. So while projects should be your main focus, certification will give you edge. So do relevant such as I'll recommend you some Google Data Analytics, Microsoft Data Analyst Associate or IBM Data Science ones are some well-known repetitive project, uh, you know, certification and their projects are also very hands-on. So they'll train you on tools and techniques that you'll need. And in these, if you are uh, taking it from third party, also such as IIT, Durkis and all are there, prioritize certification that involves hands-on projects, not just, you know, made projects, not like that. And step six is to focus on soft skills and storytelling. So this is a major one. So stay focused. So you need to be able to present your data in a way that non-technical people can understand. Not everyone wants to know fancy data terms. They don't care been there done that so this will involve more about you know going beyond creating charts right it's about drafting a narrative with your data so continue with your you know technical know-how tools such as uh, tableau or power bi that are there and convey the why behind your data using these dashboards or charts that you can make and then second point is communication and collaboration so again, in 2024 and 2025, data analysts are expected to work closely with business teams because everyone, social media manager, marketing manager, even teams, backend people, they'll all want complex analysis to be done and explained in a simpler way. So you'll have to collaborate with multi-functional and cross-functional teams. So you'll have to be understanding of these things. And then step seven is to understand networking and monitoring early. So build your network because uh, networking is crucial. Without it, you won't move the corporate ladder and won't learn new things. So use LinkedIn to connect with professionals that are in your field, data analysts that are there. And I post a lot of content there so you can follow me there. Just do that. And then join relevant groups. Shivai also has a group. We have a lot of content being posted there. And participate in webinars and conferences. This will help you stay updated on trends and job opportunities that are there and find a mentor like seek out experienced data analysts who can offer guidance and feedbacks this can speed up your learning curves and help you navigate your career path more effectively and stay current with industry trends like what are the emerging 
technologies that are there from data robots, data bricks and auto ML. These tools are highly trending right now. So they'll transform how data analysis is being done. So this will allow you to analyze complex data sets really easily and automate those processes also so that you can focus on crucial things and analyze what trends that are being formed. Not just spend all time cleaning data and handling it. And then continuous learning. Since this field, each day some new thing come out, you'll have to be constantly learning. And upskill yourself, otherwise you'll be laid off the next day. So don't be that. So for platforms such as Coursera, Udemy and 365 Data Science are good for ongoing education. So with that being said, all steps are completed. I'll keep on posting more about these things. So just a thing that becoming a data analyst in 2024 and 2025 requires mastering technical skills, building real world projects, again important, and developing your communication skills. So if you start now and follow these steps, you will be well on your way to become a successful person in career. And it is it will be a fruitful one, of course. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and comment below. If you have any questions or you are an aspiring data analyst, do let me know. Connect with me on socials and if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, I'll also give mentorship. So con uh, connect on me on Topmate or Calendly and let's connect on social media. I'm here to help. Uh, I'm a mentor, of course, you guys know. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.